Fun Tower Radio and a live broadcast from Wayne and Jones in Manorville down on Long Island. And uh, the man himself is sitting right next to me. And uh, Wayne, you listen every night to Fun Tower Radio and uh, yours truly, right? That's right. And that's why no work gets done at Wayne's Garage. I know. So I always tell folks that are that are loitering in Wayne's Garage, please proceed to the to the table with your keys. Leave your keys and get out. <laughs> right? Yes, and sometimes it works and sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it doesn't work. So So Wayne, tell us, um, how long have you been in Manorville? I've been here since nineteen eighty eight. And where where did you grow up? Grew up in Smithtown. I don't know if people know where that is. I That's, don't know where it is. Which which direction? That would be west towards the city, uh, central, northern Long Island, oh, I okay. guess. All right. Uh, kind of the town to be in, I guess, growing up was, uh, I want to say the wealthy town, but that was mm-hmm. a decent place to grow up. We, and Joan? Same place. Oh, okay. Joan actually lived two blocks away. Yeah. We grew oh, up. Wow. Yeah, and we four, but... Yeah, right, four blocks. <laughs> whatever. So, how long have you known each other? Um, 1978, but who's counting? <laughs> wow. Yeah, long time. I've seen some pictures on your Facebook page. Yeah, long time, long yeah. time. So, went out different directions after, uh, what, like 1982, I think? Mm-hmm. Um, 83, but who's counting? Okay. Yeah. All right, well, we had the year wrong. <laughs> went in different directions, married different people, and found our way back to each other. So yeah! What an incredible a, story. Uh, yeah, it's certainly a, a story that was meant to be. Mm-hmm. Someday they're going to make a movie out of it, maybe. <laughs> yeah, <you know>. Lucky. <laughs> Just trying to find some stars, you know. <laughs> so you got turned on to All Requests Saturday night. Um, yeah, as, as you know, Ron, we were just back in the garage yep. showing you the Impala. And that's kind of how it all started because restoring that car took a long process. And at night, you want to listen to something on the radio. And to be honest with you, a lot of these other stations, as people know, they insult your intelligence with mm. their music, their advertisement. And I Saturday night one day, I'm spinning the dial and I caught you. I caught you. Uh, <laughs> Sky G. Ron says don't hold the mic this way. I'm just. Well, you hold, okay. hold it like this. All right, there we go. There you go. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? But anyway, we were, uh, I just happened to hear Ron, and it was just unique because of the music, which is different. His uh, ad-libbing, his whole thing about it was different. And the funny part was, it got to the point, every time I'd go to sand the car, some of the paint, I'd have to stop to sand it. I'd hear what Ron would say because it was so interesting. (laughs) And one thing just led to another. I'm like, this guy brought me back to when I was a kid. Growing up with uh, Ron Lundy and everybody else, this this guy has something these people today don't have, and it just it kind of morphed into something else. And I'm sorry to say, I never knew about the chat or anything like that. I'd always record Ron or listen to him and have dinner, and then maybe at the end of the night go back in the basement or the garage and finish stuff. But when I found out about the chat, I'm like, you know, this is too good to be true. Really, you've got the greatest DJ, <laughs> you've got a chat, you've get to meet a lot of great people, and as you've just heard, side of Sue and Russ. I mean, if it wasn't for Ron. Honestly, oh these two people are, are incredible. We wouldn't have met all the people we've met, aside of Sue and Russ being, you know, our favorite Long Island and George Rare. I mean, and it turns out George Rare uh, also helps with car shows we go to. So talk about a close world, a close-knit wow. world. And it's all through Ron. We didn't know these people existed. It's just, it's amazing. Did you, uh, so you met Cider Sue and Russ before the party that we had up on the Berlin Turnpike in Newington, Connecticut? Or? Yes, okay. yes. Believe it or not, we met Cider Sue and Russ at, at a car show in Miller Place because mm-hmm. yep. it was close to Sue and she gets lost very easy. So <laughs> we, we, made it, we made it simple for her. But as you know, in that show we were saying one night we're going to meet each other and mm-hmm. we were both nervous as can be yep. because I honestly, I thought Sue from a, uh, posting her pictures was kind of a tough lady. I yeah. really <laughs> didn't know about that. And you, uh, you have to be careful online. You yes, really do. Yes, you know. And we, sure enough, you can't miss Sue walking through the car show field. You know. Wow. And here I thought she brought me coffee. And God's honest truth. And inside the coffee cup was actually cider. Cider. So here I am at eleven o'clock in the morning at a car show having cider. Let me tell you. After that, Sue and I, we and and Joan and Russ, we just hit it off and. It's amazing, as as you may or may not remember our birthdays, but because we're all born very closely, some of us, uh, Russ, there's a stone out there someplace they're trying to dig up for his for his birthday, but uh, we hit it right off, and we were so alike. And honestly, Sue and Russ, I've never met anybody, and George too, who would give you the shirt off their back mm-hmm. and not ask for it's anything amazing. in return. It's amazing, and again, it's all through yeah. through Rock and Ron and his radio show. It's it's incredible. It really is, and that's that's what it's all about. It's it's about getting together, having a good time, and you know, we're we're all friends. 